During meiosis, synapsis and crossing over occur between two chromosomes in a homologous pair. And from an evolutionary standpoint, by exchanging genetic information between the mother and father chromosome, there's an advantage of increasing variability within the gametes produced from meiotic division. Synapsis refers to the connecting of homologous chromosomes together, and this connected pair forms what we call a tetrad. Tetra meaning four to refer to the four sister chromatids present, one, two, three, and four. In crossing over, um, crossing over is the actual exchange of genetic information, so this is crossing over, um, where pieces of both chromosomes break off and then reattach to the opposing um, homologous chromosome. So the completed exchange creates recombinant chromosomes with four different sister chromatids as opposed to only two different types of sister chromatids before the exchange. Remember these four sister chromatids are then separated into four different gametes through meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Interestingly, not all genes are equally likely to cross over, um, cross over to another chromosome. Depending on the distance between two genes on a chromosome, there will be a different probability of these genes separating. This makes more sense when you look at um, a simple diagram like this one. And so if you see crossing over between A and B is less likely to occur than crossing over between A and E because there's only this small amount of space um, to cross over between A and B, whereas there's this much space to cross over between A and E. So a crossing over between A and E could happen anywhere um, between all this space. So it could happen here, it could happen here, it could happen here, it could happen here. Um, there are a lot more different possibilities than between A and B. So you can see that um, the rule is the further apart two genes are, the more likely a crossover will occur and the genes will be separated.